Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to view multiple clips in DaVinci Resolve's color page. This will allow you to switch back and forth between the different clips so that you can color grade them if you're trying to get them to match or be more cohesive. It's actually really simple. First, let me select one clip. As you can see, this clip is a little bit warmer and this clip is way cooler and has a lot less saturation. My goal is to actually color grade both of these so I can cut back and forth between these two clips and they can match in this music video. In order to be able to see multiple clips like this, first, make sure you select the first clip you want and if you have multiple clips here, you can hold control to select the other clip or clips. I'll show you guys with more than two clips in a bit, but let's just go ahead and do two right now. So now both these clips are selected. By default, DaVinci Resolve is just gonna show you one clip here in the preview window. In order to see multiple clips shared in this same preview window, you're gonna look here towards the left and look for where it says split screen. Now, if you have your media pool, LUTs, or gallery open here on the left, it's still gonna be in the same region somewhere above the preview window. Again, just hover above until you see split screen. Click on that. And by default, you're still gonna only see one clip, but now you'll see this drop down menu. What we wanna do right now is just view clips. So scroll down to selected clips. Now there are a lot of other different forms you can look through. The one I tend to use the most is selected clips. As Soon as you do that, the screen will split to host multiple clips in this preview. Again, like I said, you can do more than two, but for this video right now, we're gonna stick to just two. Now it is kind of small. You can zoom in with the scroll wheel on your mouse. If you wanna make it smaller, or wider, just go ahead and stretch it out. I'm gonna get rid of my gallery section here. You could also get rid of the clips if you want at the bottom by clicking on the clips button here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Now, in order to get into the nodes of each individual clip, all you have to do is click here in the preview window, and now you'll be working in the node structure of that selected clip. You can see a little gray box around the selected clip. Again, by clicking here in this window. Let's say I wanted to start color grading this one on the right. If I click on that clip here on the clips list, now I'm only getting one video in this window. So you don't wanna select down here. Keep all the clips you want selected. And again, in order to get into the node structure of the individual clip you wanna color grade, select here through the preview window. Let's go ahead and do some splits here so we can create more clips. All right, now we have six clips. If we go back to the color page, select all of them. Now you'll see this preview window broke apart into all individual clips that are selected. And again, you wouldn't click down here to choose a clip you want to color grade. Choose here through the preview window so you can make adjustments as needed. Now, if you want to get rid of this, you don't have to make a change on the drop down menu here. Just go back to where it says split screen and now that'll be taken off. And now you can go back to one clip at a time. Even if multiple clips are selected, you're only going to see one clip here. Now, a very important thing to know, if you have split screen enabled and then you go to the deliver page, you'll see this little outline around the frame in the deliver page, which can often disable other tracks. Let's say if you have any overlays. So before you go to the deliver page, in the color page, get rid of the split screen option. Then go to the deliver page. You won't see that outline and any other tracks will be shown. And then you can go ahead and set for rendering. 